All right, brothers and sisters, welcome to part three. All right, all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, in the name of the Holy Spirit, the Earthly Mother, and sanctifying Yahweh, Shai, the Holy Son. All right, we are in part three, uh, brothers and sisters. Um, uh, we are going to discuss. Here we go. Let me put this right here. We are going to discuss uh, the Gentiles going at each other's throat, okay? And then to stay out of it. Don't be in interested in what those people are doing. Like, you know, don't try to don't try to shield them, all right? This is in the third part over there in so-called um, Saudi Arabia. And uh, it's uh, over there and some dude crashing his car onto a mosque onto the mecca mosque like a holy place the holiest of the whole you know for those people over there a saudi man rammed a car at high speed into the outer walls of mecca's grand mosque islam's holiest site authorities have arrested the man who had driven the car he appeared to be in what authorities termed an abnormal condition. The crash happened around 10.30 p.m. on Friday as guards chased the driver after he crashed through two barriers before hitting one of the southern entrances. Okay, they, they speed it up. They just speed up the the um, the um thing so they can, go, um, they can go fast. But this dude, he just entered this place. He just like, he, he, this is a holy place, those people. This is a grand mosque. Okay, that guy slammed a car into here. And they don't know why he did it. Well, he could have been drunk, but then again, we know why he this dude did this. Father made him do it. All right? Of the mosque. Okay. So it's a speed up video. So those guys don't. Mecca really authorities understand. refrained from naming this man, but reports suggest that the person will be facing charges. Death. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> This guy, this guy is already dead. They will just cut off his head and that's it. Because that's a great offense right here. If, if this guy is drunk, which is not allowed over there, alcohol is not allowed, they'll kill him. If, he, if, he's, if he's like anything, if he has any type of mental issue, they'll kill him. If, he, if, he, if, he, if, he, if his break went out on him, they'll kill him. Anything happened here, this guy is dead. Okay? He slams a car into the doors of Mecca. This is, f look, this is how Father deal. All those things, brothers and sisters, they are not random. Father just tell those people like, you done, man. Slam a car in your door. All right. أوضح المتحدث الرسمي لإمارة منطقة مكة المكرمة سلطان الدوسري أنه عند الساعة العاشرة والنصف من Okay, at 10.30 on Friday, the security authorities say the man just drove a, a car into the, the holy city, okay? All right, those guys got all type of money over there, you know, they, they weren't expecting something like that, you know? Can you imagine if that guy had a bomb in his car? He would have taken the, the whole place out. He would have taken the whole place out. So... That's uh, that's the most high for you, man. That's the most high for you. That's how I did. Look at the car just, you know, running. It just run the, the thing and go straight inside. And, you know, that's that's a, that's a very bad thing over there, man. You know, and uh, I think there's another video they show the dude that did this. And uh, let me see if I can find that video. I don't know, but it's somewhere around here. Okay. Yeah, they, they have a... Uh, they have, uh, they have, um, well, they have a, a, a something that they show that they show the dude and stuff like that. But anyway, um, let's move in with the next, with the next video. Let me see if I have anything interesting here. Let's see. Heavy. He oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. This, this is, this is, this is all just like one minute. All right, let's take this one because it's fresh. Increase of hell and snow. Okay. Look at this. Look, look, brothers and sisters, you can't make that up. Look, let's let's read it back again. This is this is Lebanon, and again, I will go back. I will tell you again, again, then again, who the, those call those Lebanese who they are, and what they are doing in the Holy Land. Let's watch this video, make a little commentary, then we will go to the Lebanon, the Lebanese. Okay, what they are doing. All right, let's go. All right, look at this. This is holy. 
increase of hail and snow. Lebanon just had uh, uh, one of those things over there. Um, it's raining and it's the hail is falling with the rain. Brothers and sisters, you can't make that up. Look, you can't make that up. This is not something you can just fake. You can't buy 1,000 pounds of ice and then drop it on the airplane like this. This is not fake. Look, hell and rain. And the sea and, and Lebanon. And Lebanon just uh, uh, we, uh, for the past few days, they've been, they've been having a bunch of explosions. And people think this is random. This is not random, brothers and sisters. What you are witnessing here, this is the sixth plague of the... Look at this. A car flip. Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. Here we go. Okay, they were pulling it with a cord. You know? Look at this. The, the rain, the hell, all mixed up together. All mixed up. Okay, so... And uh, there's a snow in India. We'll go into that. Okay, look at this. Flooding. This is crazy. Give me a second. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's see. They, oh man, my girl make me miss um, that snow that they had over there somewhere in um and uh what is this place name again in india all right let's go to lebanon all right now brothers and sisters lebanon is a country and the quote unquote uh middle east see just give me lebanon that's it and that it's supposed to be like but the, the true lebanon is on the fourth part it's not it's it's nowhere it's nowhere in here that's just a name the true lebanon is over here in the fourth part now you got lebanon over there let's um zoom in and uh you know so this country that you are looking at it's in the quote-unquote middle east so it's close to um the libya we just went to syria uh, uh i believe you know there was a war still a war going on in syria okay so in beirut right here uh where the explosion happened couple ex explosion happened now those people the lebanese they are still not they, they got that places is that no they got that places over there and they have a bunch of hail and snow which is the number the number six of the apocalypse of Ab abraham increase of hail and snow you barely look you barely used to see hail storm okay barely now it's every single day and everywhere why now when you look at Lebanon right here, it's somewhere it's supposed to be in the Middle East. Also, or, um, if you zoom out, okay, this is Syria, Lebanon, Cyprus, okay, West Bank, Gaza, Israel. It's, it's on the same aisle, on the same little eye, and the Jordan and all that. All those countries, this they are fake. They are fake names. Uh, they took the copy of uh, the fourth part and pasted on the third part. Now why is this happening in lebanon because I, like i mentioned before the lebanese actually let me put this right here just like they say hish the hish control the, the economy of the u.s or the world the lebanese actually control the whole economy of the holy island over there and uh, they are not too kind to our people they are not too kind at all if you go deeper, you go dig deep, you will see the other cause of all the problem that's going on in the Holy Land. That's why these things are happening over there, okay? That's why the, uh, things are happening over there, because of they, they got their hands on our Holy Land. People were thinking like that explosion that happened in, in Beirut over there uh, a, few, a few months ago, and they think that was some type of... Um, it was like a, a random thing. They couldn't find a bomb because there ain't no bomb. Okay, they they like they they, they think like it was uh, uh, some. It was an accident. It wasn't. It was the Mosai. And you're gonna hear a hell of a lot of things coming out of Lebanon, man. You know, I can't get uh, every time I come to the Holy Island, I gotta look at the face. Okay, the, with the afro over there. You know, with the eyes, the head. And uh, the nose right here, and the beard, and the neck, go down there with the necklace, with the whole, uh, um, with the 
the gold chain, gold necklace and stuff. Somebody said it has a body of a lion. I can't see the lion. I believe this body that person tried to see, but I cannot see it. I can't. You can't see it. So that's a mound, you know, a pyramid. It's covered and it has a face on it. All right. And the Holy Land. All right. And the fourth part. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, brothers and sisters. There we go. Trying to get it out of there. All right, then. So the Holy Spirit are sending us stuff, man. Where were we? Where were we? Okay. Heavy hell over there. And, uh, um, oh, that's the snow over there. And, 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 um, in uh right of india okay let me see how long we got in this man this thing is moving very fast something is wrong it usually don't go that fast the 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 size it usually don't go that fast but anyway i believe when i move this uh you know if i leave it like this if i leave it um still it's not recording anything so only recording the voice but if you start moving it you know, the, the image just takes a, a hell of a lot more. So this is in India. Snowfall in India. Again, heavy snowfall in Himachal, Pradesh, Lohahul, Spiti, Atal, Tunnel, North Portal, Snowfall. Boy, what did I just read? Anyway, so this is happening over there in, in, in India. So the... the, the Rainbow the, 7 channel ki or se Madan Gopal ka satrangi. This dude is, is just saying something. But um, as you can see, it's raining so... Look, this guy is driving against traffic, or he's just parked on the side. So the people cannot drive because the, the rain, and they don't have that thing over there. They don't really have um, snow plowers as we do because they really don't expect that much rain, uh, that much snow over there. Look at me, a Floridian, talking about snow, about the snow plow. Well, I used to be in North Dakota and now. Uh, oil field so I, I i know about those things but anyway so when you look at this <laughs> those people are using umbrellas for uh, uh the rain so uh, the, the snow so increase of hell in snow all right this video is too it's too it's too bland you know it's too it's too like it, it's raining plus it's snowing you can't make that up there's a better video let's see if we can get it um we gotta we gotta type that in i think i have it somewhere around here let's see heavy hurt and snow charity is that yeah no we just watched this one okay oh um um uh the, the uh dabu seven we'll go to dabu seven oh man da, the dabu dabu seven all right let's look up for um heavy snow nope heavy snow wow and india oops heavy snow in india i believe i saw one of the video that has a better that's a year no seven months mm, no let's 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 filter it by the last hour or so mm -mm. uh this week Okay, where is it? Uh, I believe this one. Yeah, okay, that one. And as we slip into a short break here on lunch break, I'm leaving you with some visuals from Lahore really? and Spiti in Himalaya. <laughs> Did they say that over there in Russia when the, the news anchors are going on break? All right, all right, then. that's good. Uttar Pradesh, which continued to receive snowfall, covering the region with a thick white sheet of snow. Enjoy. Okay, all right. Increase. Oh, okay. Well, it can increase COVID testing. I, I don't know how to say increase the hell in snow. You know, you gotta look for everything. But that, you, you can see it here, man. It's increasing. Hello everyone, this is Rahul Kamal here. Hope you enjoyed this video. For the latest news... In really? That was like 20 seconds. But anyway, anyway, thank you. <clears throat> Let's go to Dabu 7, alright? Because uh, this is upon the Gentiles. Let's let this dude telling us what's going on. Get ready. This there is Dabu 7. There we go. We've got a lot going on now here. Within about 36 hours of the election... We're surely going to see some sort of chaos spin out of this because it's pre-planned and they're just telegraphing it all over the place. None of this is pre-planned. None of this is planned. 
Again, do not listen to Gentiles telling you that everything is pre-planned by the elites. You know, they, they have no control over this. They have no control. Again, those people are going to go at each other's throat. They're going to kill each other. Just because you see some of our quote-unquote people that look like, like us, that doesn't mean they are our people. Again, like I told you, man, if, if, if you are in the truth, you are our people, your ass will stay home, man. You, you, like, you leave those people alone. Let them you know, go ahead at each other's throat and then beat and kill, rape, rob, and do whatever to each other, all right? So they put this image here to just uh, show you that, okay, well, it's martial law, okay? Get ready for chaos, windows board up, National Guard roll up, investors suddenly freaking out. It's like this is new. This is new. This has been happening for quite some time now, okay? Let's go ahead. We can already see this starting to, to break loose in different areas. They have now sent National Guard to multiple different cities. We've seen, seen them boarding up downtown areas in mass like New York City, Chicago, Los Angeles. Now, Philly seeing troops sent in there as well. The White House putting up a perimeter fence. What they call a non-scalable fence around the White House. Also rolling out 250 National Guardsmen to be on standby to protect the White House complex, the Ellipse, and Lafayette Square. Again, whatever is going to happen after the election, the blue moon has already came, man. The blue moon already came and passed. Brothers and sisters, fear nothing. This is all those Gentiles fearing and trying to make people fear. This has nothing to do with us. We're just going to sit back, relax, and watch the show. Trump wins. We don't give a uh. Trump loss. We don't care. We just want to get the hell out of the here, man. All right. Lafayette Square is where a bunch of people were saying that they were going to rally to try to descend upon the White House to run Trump out of it if they declare that Biden is a victor. But at this point, it's pretty clear that no one is going to be officially declared president for some time. Someone may come out with a big lead after Tuesday night. They may announce someone and it may affect some things, but it's going to take time per what the Supreme Court has said in Pennsylvania and other states to count all the votes there and nothing will be official until that happens and there's been a lot of controversy with the mail-in ballots thus far i expect that to play big in this whole thing and really the outcome either way i expect to see chaos of course there will be chaos there's supposed to be chaos again remember the brother the levite brother he prophesied he said trump going to lose biden going to win and the war is going to happen Stay out of it. Stay out of it. Let those people fight their own wars. Don't let anybody come up to you. Oh, America, we need to bind together. We need to unity. You need to fight the war with us. You, you need to get your gun and go fight. Stay out of it. If it was to be handed to Biden after you see all these droves of people coming out in support of Trump, you're going to see something new. If Trump wins, I expect to see some of these groups that they've been pushing around the country all year long to show back up, you know, with, with, their, with their ticket in hand to cause chaos as this has happened left and right. They've been bust in, stacks of bricks, spray painting F-12, a lot of earmarkings that show that this is organized in mass, and we expect them to be in action throughout this week. So just be prepared. Regardless... I see chaos because at the end of the day, that seems to be what they're wanting. No, not that what they wanted, what father wants. They already have chaos all over in Europe. Look at Spain. And like I told people, they, they like they're watching Spain. They're like, that's that, that's not gonna happen here. It's been happening here. It's just like you people always trying to twist things upon us. Oh, black people are doing this. Black people, you see Spain, those guys just break ATM, they stole everything, they break that stuff, they looted everything. Nobody called them looters. They didn't, they didn't even call the, uh, the, the Spanish, not, 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 the Spaniards, National Guard. They said they were warriors. They were fighting fascists. They were fighting Bill Gates. Keep trying to put this on our back to see. Keep. So, be vigilant is all I can say. It looks like Wall Street is now talking about this. Okay, so everyone is talking about being worried about armed conflict. I'm not. 
I believe my my uh, brothers and sisters, they're not. Like I said, you people think like you can uh, the swindle or squiggle, squiggling your way into this. No, you're not. You're trying to squiggle your way and then send your dog whistle that, hey, those black people are about to kill us. You know, let's kill them first. Again, you going, you guys are going to kill each other. Just like that security guard killed that uh, fellow with that paper spray. Okay? You guys are going to kill each other. You'll see. All these investors saying they're freaking out about this post-election violence. So, as we've been saying this whole time, I hope you have a plan. And we're talking about this in greater detail over here on DLive. Make sure to join me. I'll be live maybe every night this week. It depends on how things go. But Monday, Wednesday, and Friday every week, 9 p.m. Eastern, you can find replays also over here. If you missed the live stream, even if I'm running a replay, you can go back and you can start whatever fresh. There's also videos there, my music videos, and a great chat and a whole lot more. Okay, that was a little advertising. I don't know why I listened to that, but <laughs> anyway, man, the Gentiles, they look, they don't know what's going on. They keep saying this thing is pre planned and stuff, and we know for a fact it's not, man. It's not. The most I plan this, and whether you want it or not, you know, it's it's going to happen. All right. Yeah, no, Thanks it's for going logging to on happen. to my Fox Hurricane. Okay, so um, uh, that's another hurricane that, that will hit, that just, uh, those people got hit and they're going to get hit again, all right? It's over there in, uh, uh, I believe, in Honduras and Guatemala or something like that. I'm Jim Weber with your tropical update. We continue to watch a very rapidly intensifying Hurricane Ada. Winds right now have increased to 120 miles an hour. Through the overnight hours, we really started to watch this storm become much better organized. You can see that center, the eye, which basically looks like a pinpoint on the infrared satellite imagery. It's about four at nine miles an hour. Makes so they say by the time it landed, it would be a category four, which is, which is pretty bad. A category two, look, listen, even a category one, you really don't want any category at all. But a category four, it's, 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 pretty, it's pretty strong. It's major. Category four is major. It's a major hurricane. Okay, it's going to hit somewhere around Honduras, going to uh, uh, um, Central Central America. It's landfall late tonight into early tomorrow morning. Late tonight, landfall late tonight or early tomorrow morning. That's a that's a very bad thing there. So you've got the the very strong winds causing damage. We've got the storm surge, and then because it's moving slowly, we are going to have torrential rains with it. Fifteen. Oh to 25 inches of rain that's a lot <laughs> that's a lot brothers and sisters that's flooding right there it's talking about flooding as this works its way on shore and slowly moves over the mountainous terrain so we've got the flooding rains and the mudslides with this and then it will slowly dissipate now some of the computer models are indicating this may not dissipate completely over the mountainous terrain or if it does the remnants of it will move back out over the waters and we may actually we'll keep you updated right here on myfoxhurricane.com my all right so you've seen it man the the weather and uh, the protests the fear in the philippine okay um, um over there uh, the, the rain and snow brothers and sisters uh if if you want to argue with this you know, if you want to say something else, that's on you. So what you just experienced right there, it's the 10 plagues of the apocalypse of Abraham. Why? Because in Genesis 15, 13, and 14, it was prophesied to old man Abraham. Let's put a little bit on the background so we won't have that much hissing. All those things were prophesied to old man Abraham. The covenant was made with Adam. Then it passed it on to the righteous bloodline of Seth. And again, like I said before, the bloodline of Seth, they are also unrighteous people. But, you know, not, not totally wicked, but he has to be the righteous. Remember, Abraham's father was a wicked man. Terah, Terah actually tried to get Abraham killed, and Terah worshipping other God. Because Terah 
went to Nimrod trying to get Abraham killed. So, all right, give me a second. Is are those all my books? Yeah. You didn't find a phone? Okay. I uh, just got some books that arrived today. Okay, just give me a second. All right, brothers and sisters, I'm looking in my hand right now. My my girl just uh, gave me two books. The Book of Remembrance, um, the first and second books of Archie, and the Book of Remembrance of Enoch, and the uh, essence of Book of Agai. So, whoopsie! Boy, I'm going to be reading for a while now. Beautiful. Mwah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you for all your donation, man. Uh, so... Um, that's what happened, all right? So, let me put this in there. So, you got to study. Study to show yourself approved unto Father, okay? You have to approve. You have to study. And I, I order more books. More things are coming. Okay. I don't know why I just do this, but... Yeah. So, I order those books. They are quite cheap now, brothers and sisters. Do everything in your power to have those books, even though you're not reading them, have them in your house. Just in case those Gentiles, they will raise the price and the brother won't want one of them to study and they will not find it, all right? Okay. Let's do this. Well, we already did this. So, brothers and sisters, and uh, just uh, be at peace. Uh, let those people handling their stuff. And the uh, election is like tomorrow, I believe, Tuesday, Tuesday night. Look, whatever the re whatever the result, we don't care. Hopefully, the um, the prophecy that the fellow, the the um, the Levite fellow, the one that told us about that Antis was going to rise again, just like the riddle, brother Big Judah had. Uh, let's read the riddle uh, actually for, uh, to close with that. Whatever happened, brothers and sisters, let those people deal with their stuff. All right? This is the riddle. Heaven above, heaven below. Stars above, stars below. All that is over on the shall show. Happy thou with the riddle. Read us. It's a little read me. The heaven above, where Father leaves that, there's one heaven like that just below us, underwater, underground. The stars above, the stars below, the, the angels that are above, and also the angelic sons and daughters the, of the righteous bloodline of Seth. You have to be righteous. We are here below. All that is over. The land, Atlantis, that is over, destroyed, and it's go under. Our power, our people, that is over, destroyed, and we are under. We are at the bottom. We are the tail. Under shall show. The people that are under shall show the land that is under the water will show up back up. Our power that is under will show up. The tail will become the head. The first will be last and the last will be first. Happy thou with the riddle readers. Rejoice whoever understand this riddle. Rejoice whoever this message is direct to. Rejoice whoever this message is benefit to. Be happy. Fa they, our forefathers left this riddle for us, okay? All right, brothers and sisters, uh, fear our father, join us uh, every 12, pray, and every 7 p.m. we have the Alone in This Walk podcast, all right? All praises to Mosai Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, in the name of the Holy Spirit, the Earthly Mother, sanctifying Yahweh Shai, the Holy Son. Peace, brothers and sisters. May peace be with you. Shalom.